I'm Francis Segismundo, and I'm a student at King George V School. I'll be graduating soon, and I'm off to university, hoping to study art and design in London. And this is my dad, Bobbit Segismundo. He's an artist too, and he's a teacher at Caritas Bianchi College of Careers. A lot of my inspiration for the arts come from him. We've had exhibitions together since I was 12 at the Philippine Consulate where I sold all my paintings, at the age of 13 where I sold one at B.A. Bar, and now at the age of 17. The exhibitions we take part in often have the same group of Filipino artists, and the Haraya group is one that brings us all together here in Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a city of creativity with their technology, history, and culture. And here in Hong Kong, they encourage new talent, whether that would be art, theater, and fashion. They hold art festivals, fashion shows, and galleries showcasing international artists. I'll be taking you on a little journey to events that the Haraya group participated in back in 2009. The three-day live mural painting at the Detour event, and the Hong Kong Visual Arts Center exhibit. So what is the Haraya Group? Well, the Haraya Group was formed in May 2009 by a small group of visual artists that were first under the Philippine Arts Festival. The Philippine Arts Festival was another group that promoted all sorts of art, like visual art, music, dance, drama, cinema, and architecture. But these artists wanted a group that strictly showcased visual arts, so collectively they formed what is now known as Haraya, and Haraya, meaning imagination, in Tagalog. Soon after, they held election and voted my dad as chairman, Jun Caniete and Joel Ferraris as vice chairman. Uh, to me, was uh, when it was formed, was to avail of these opportunities, especially uh, exhibition areas. If you're a legal entity, a group, if you're only an individual, it's hard for you to, you know, the, 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 it depends. For example, the government will not deal with you. That's the reason why. It's better to have this group so that you can help one another. All the good thing about the Haraya group, when we formed this, is I never expect that my daughter will join us. She was very lucky because she had her first group exhibition at the age of 12 or 13 and she sold all her pieces, which is good. And then when she joined the group, she said that she's interested again to, to pursue her art career. I was so happy. Today I'm getting my third and final piece framed at a shop in Hong Ham located in the Kowloon side of Hong Kong. My dad has been coming here for years to get his works framed for the exhibitions he's done in the past. The shop is walking distance from the Hong Ham MTR station, buried within industrial and traditional Chinese buildings. Towards the end of October, I was able to complete my first two pieces and got them framed first. And today I am visiting the shop with my dad to see how my pieces turned out as well as his. This is the first time I've been able to tag along in the process of how an exhibition comes together. I've never witnessed the works getting framed, nor have I seen the actual setup of the gallery itself. So I'm very curious with how everything comes together in time for the opening on the 17th of November at the Hong Kong Visual Arts Center. What happens here is you bring the piece you want framed, choose what frame you want, but in this case my dad had the receipt from the last time he was here, and the rest you leave it to him. As he jots down in his little notebook, I was curious to know how my pieces looked like. Yes, my frame is pink. I know you're all wondering why pink. Well, I want it to be different for a change and I wanted it to match my works. My dad is the type of person who loves the color black, but to my surprise, he chose a rich chocolate brown frame for his pieces. After a long inspection, my dad and I were satisfied and ready to take our pieces back to his place until the gallery setup, which is on the 16th of November.
Okay, hi. It is now 4.34 p.m. and I just got back from school. Um, during school today, I got a text from my dad saying that I was featured in the South China Morning Post. And here it is. And they chose my picture, which is pretty awesome. This is basically an article of the exhibition, which is coming up um, in, in six days. It's coming up in six days. So I'm really, really excited about this. Okay, bye. Luckily, I was able to get permission to miss a day of school to be here to document and experience a gallery setup. I traveled 30 minutes to Hong Kong Station to meet my dad in front of his apartment. Okay, so we're on our way to my dad's house and um, we're going there because a van's picking us up to bring our stuff to the gallery. And it's going to be lots and lots of fun and we're just going to be setting up for the whole day. It starts at 9.30 to 9, in the, 9 at night. So. outside his house at 9 a.m. However, we were behind schedule with the van arriving late. We were also waiting for fellow artists and head spokesman of the Haraya group, Aldrin Monsod. Eventually, the van arrives with artist June Campbell. My dad, Aldrin, and June himself were running up and down my dad's apartment to bring down the pieces needed for the exhibit. The chaos, the, chaos, the, the misunderstanding, arguments, 